Hey, bless the Lord, and thank you for tuning in to this TMT video. Um, last time I was able to speak with your hearts, I told you that we were going to deal with some uh, some issues uh, um, on leadership uh, that we see taking place in the church today. Sometimes we sit back and we look at all the stuff that's going on in the church, and we wonder, what's happening? Where did this stuff come from? Uh, does, is God, does God care? What's God going to do about it? Does he even see it? Does he know it? Um, especially those that are, uh, um, um, are being affected by some of the stuff that's taking place in the modern church. You start wondering, what's happening? What's God going to do? How is he dealing with it? Well, we're going to look at um, Ezekiel 34 today. Um, if you got your Bibles, turn to Ezekiel 34. And um, um, I'm not going to read these scriptures. I'm just going to touch on some things. Um, in Ezekiel 34, um, God is sending his prophet Ezekiel uh, to rebuke the shepherds of Israel. Okay, they were uh, not properly shepherding God's people. Um, they were neglecting and abusing God's people. Okay, and so as we go through these things, I want you to he hear it in the spirit. I want you to think about things that you've heard. I want you to think about things that you've seen with your own eyes. And I want you to think about things that you've probably even discerned. Okay, um, sometimes we're, we're afraid to say, I discerned this and I discerned that because it's dealing with leadership. Um, um, but um, I want you to think about those things as, as we uh, look at Ezekiel 34. Okay, uh, number one thing that we're going to look at is these uh, uh, shepherds, they fed themselves... Um, and they did not feed the flocks. And if you look at it, they actually took the best uh, um, um, of, of the food. They took the best of everything and kept it for themselves. And, and, they, and, they, did, and they didn't share it with the flock. Um, okay? Um, it says they neglected the diseased. They neglected to care for them that were sick. They neglected to care for them that were broken. They didn't go after them that were driven away. And they didn't seek after the lost. They ruled with cruelty and with force. And as a result of their cruel and forceful style of leadership, okay, they ruled with manipulation, intimidation, and domination, okay? As a result of their cruel uh, uh, and forceful style of leadership, the sheep were scattered. And they became susceptible, or they became meat to wild beasts, is what the scripture says. And they wandered and were scattered all throughout the earth. Okay, um, God told these shepherds, he says, I'm against you. He said, and I will require my flock at your hands. In other words, I see it, I notice it, I hate it, and I'm going to deal with it. It will not escape you. It will not, it will not get past me. You will pay for what you've done. He says, you will cease from feeding the sheep. He said, I will stop you from feeding my sheep. You will lose your influence over my sheep. And then he says, I will stop you from even feeding yourselves. And then he told uh, those that had been scattered and those that had been wounded, he said, and I'm going to search after my sheep um, as one, and care for my sheep as a good shepherd would. Right? So we see in the book of Ezekiel uh, uh, that, that unbiblical leadership had, had taken place and God addressed it. Right? And, and unbiblical leadership is taking place today. Where did this stuff come from, though? Where, how does this stuff start? Did it just happen just now? Or is it, is it popping up there or, and just popping up there? No. If you go back and, and you start studying um, um, a few years ago, um, it actually started in, what I have here in my notes, it actually started here in the early 1970s, probably before that. But one of the major movements started it in, 19, in the early 1970s. Okay? Uh, large, this movement was called the Discipleship or shepherding movement, okay, um, um, it started in the early 1970s, it was largely found in the charismatic movement, but it was not limited to the charismatic movement, so if you consider yourself charismatic, or you know somebody who's charismatic, you may want to uh, uh, take note of this information, uh, it was said that during this time, the early 1970s, there were many converts to Christianity, uh, but there appeared to be a lack of discipleship, um, so it's said that uh, two men, Bob Mumford and Ern Baxter, uh, became the instigators of what is now known as the shepherding movement or the discipleship movement. Okay, um, uh, later they were joined by three other men. Uh, Derek Prince, Don Basham, and Charles Simpson. Um, and they soon became known as the Fort Lauderdale Five. Okay, and all of these men came together and they all started submitting their members, uh, their ministries one to another. And then other pastors came and everybody started submitting their ministries one to another. And then all of these, these, Fort, these Fort Lauderdale Five started coming up with teachings and doctrines um, uh, to, to regulate uh, this new form of order and structure that they've put together to, uh, to, to, to try to help with this issue of discipleship that they, that they saw. 
I believe that these men started off well-meaning and they started off with good intentions, but they made the common error of not digging through God's word and not praying. They made the common error of of um, of, of putting their, mixing their own ideas and thoughts uh, with with God's scripture, and as a result, it resulted in twisting scripture. It resulted in ungodly teachings, which resulted in ungodly practices that has left many people wounded today. Right? Millions of people are wounded today uh, uh, from many of these teachings that these guys have, have uh, laid out and taught. And you wonder where is this stuff coming from? Um, in, in, in the next video, uh, I'm actually going to deal with some of the teachings of, of uh, 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 compare some of their teachings with biblical teachings to help you more recognize this stuff when you see it. Okay? Um, um, I'm also going to do a video and, and we're going to talk about signs of spiritual abuse. Okay, so you can recognize spiritual abuse. Okay, um, I'm encouraging you. Now, you it's up to you how you want to deal with this. But I'm encouraging you if you notice that you are uh, 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 in a ministry uh, but there are elders that are uh, spiritually abusive. Okay, I, I encourage you, number one, to always approach them and to talk to them about this issue. And if that don't work, I encourage you to run. To get as far away from that place as you possibly can. Because it will only leave you spiritually drained. And I know your heart may be good. And I know you may want to submit. And I know you may want to serve. right? But this is an ungodly leadership. And it will only hurt you in the end. Okay, so I want to encourage you to run from ungodly leadership, run from uh, 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 forceful, cruel leadership, run from leaders that are selfish, and, and, and run from people who are not concerned with them that are broken and, and bruised, and, 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 and they're just all about themselves, and all about their own health, wealth and health and prosperity. Run from that kind of stuff. Run from abusive things. Um, we would tell a person that if they were in a marriage, right? We would say, run from that marriage. Right? Get away from it. There's no reason why you'd have to sit there and be abused. Run! Run! I like that. I like that. Run! <laughs> but get away from it. I'm serious. Get away from it. Um, um, it, it as, as you approach it and you see that it's not being taken care of. Um, I would like to also mention that two of these men repented. Okay? Uh, Derek Prince and Bob Mumford uh, released formal statements uh, of, of repenting and renouncing uh, these teachings and these practices. Okay? So, um... Listen, you pastors who are out there um, um, abusing God's people, stop it. You pastors who are out there uh, uh, ruling with manipulation or leading with manipulation, intimidation, and domination, you elders that are leading like that, stop it. It is ungodly and you will be held accountable for it. That's what the Word of God says. Stop it. Right? Um, and those of you out there that have been wounded, right, um, and, and you're hurt, um, I've read to a lot of people like that over the last few years, people that are wounded, people that are wandering, people that are scattered, and they all have stories on how they were wounded, right, um, and how, how uh, this spirit of intimidation and domination and, and, and ruling uh, 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 over God's people, this ungodly leadership has affected their lives. They're spiritually drained, and you're lost, and you're confused, and you feel like it's all your fault. Listen, God is concerned about you. He sees it, and he knows it. Right? And he has not just left you out there to fend for yourself. His encouragement to these people in Ezekiel 34 is that he would seek after them. And he would care for them. He would nurture them as, as a shepherd, uh, as a good shepherd would do. So you, you may have lost your, your, uh, your faith, your faith and, and trust in man, but never lose your faith and trust in God. Because there is a good shepherd who's seeking after you. In fact, he came to seek and save them that were lost. Amen. So you be encouraged. Be encouraged to trust the Lord. I pray that this has encouraged you. Um, and thank you for tuning in to this TMT video. As I said on the next video, we will deal with some of the teachings of the shepherd, shepherding discipleship movement. And uh, uh, another video, God willing, we will deal with um, uh, signs of spiritual abuse. Um, so you can, to help you recognize it and understand when it's taking place and how it actually affects you. People of God, be blessed. Um, and tune into the next TMT video.